All right, boys and girls, we're gonna finish our happy little garden gnome. So I kept a little clip here because I'm crazy like that. So here's my garden gnome. Today, I'm going to use colored pencils. One thing you're definitely going to need is a sharpener. Now colored pencils, boys and girls, do not erase. Some people, unless you have special colored pencils for erasing or maybe a special eraser, for the most part, your eraser will not work. You have a ton of colors for your colored pencils. So you wanna think about what kind of colors you want to use. Now be careful with your colored pencils. You wanna make sure that you don't drop or bang or push too hard on them. So this one is a red orange color pencil. I'm gonna sharpen it up and I'm gonna start coloring in my gnome. Now I have outlined everything on my gnome with black. If you don't have a black marker of any type, you could use your black colored pencil or your black crayon would work well. When I color with my colored pencil, I'm going to use the side of it. If you try to color straight on down, what you're gonna make is a bunch of streaky lines. And I do not want that. And I wanna make sure I'm coloring within the line. So I'm taking my time and I'm using the side. And I can turn my paper so that it makes it easier for me to color it in. So I'm gonna give him a red hat, a red nose. Again, I'm coloring with the side. Now I made thick black lines so that if I go over the line just a little bit, I can go up to it. It doesn't look like I've gone over the lines. And I'm going to color in his cute little shirt. So I'm gonna keep his beard white. You could make his beard any color you want. You make gray if you'd like. My gnome is bald because I just decided that would be cool. Bald is beautiful. And um, he's got a hat on. He likes to wear hats. So that's, that's pretty awesome. Dun, dun, dun. Take my time. Trying to make room. So I'm carefully coloring. And like some of these sections are lighter. I go back. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna put a little more color on. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna drop something. I, gotta put it. I have all my materials laid out on my table for all of my demos. And sometimes it doesn't work out well. So I'm making my gnome. Now, garden gnomes, they're not leprechauns, they're kind of like leprechauns, but they're not. Leprechauns have gold and they do their like little tricksters. Garden gnomes are thought to be very helpful in the garden. That's why a lot of people like to put garden gnomes there. It is a German tradition or a, a thought, you know, a, uh, legend that came from Germany in Europe. They had these gnomes. I went a little bit over the line. I got to be more careful, Miss M. Now, dun, dun, dun. there we go. So I have his red coat, his red hat, 
maybe I want to view his skin color. You can make him any color you want. I'm thinking my gnome spends a lot of time outside. So he might be a little tan or darker. You can make yours any color you want. Perhaps. You could even make him a made up color. That would be cool too. He's green, who knows? Take your time coloring him in. His hands, you gotta do the hands, right? Take your time coloring your gnome in. Someone's gonna rush, don't do that. Just take your time. All right. What color should I make his pants? Perhaps I'll make them this color. So I'm starting by coloring in the new. Maybe he has brown, yeah, we'll give him brown pants. You could make blue pants, you can make, I don't care. Uh, I wouldn't do green because I'm gonna use green for the grass. I'm still using the side of my pencil. And I'm thinking very carefully on what, now notice there's some, some lines being made in my, um, as I'm coloring. So I wanna be careful and mindful of that and not have lines and streaks. So I'm gonna go more circular. Also look at the end of this. It got a little, um, weirded out so I want to be careful as I I don't want to use the point because that'll make um, a really hard line I want the color to be nice and soft uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and color this in taking my time all right so there there's that what am I, what kind of color should I make his buckle? Hmm. I'm gonna do gold. I got this fancy gold in here, right? Gotta use it. Look how fancy that is. Doesn't like a fancy belt buckle. You could do your silver. You could do it any color you want, but I'm doing mine gold and I'm gonna give him, get the black out. And I'm gonna do his belt black. Now you could do this with a marker. I gotta sharpen this bad boy. So I'm getting a lot of a lot of streaks there. I want to soften that up. See how there's like a lot of lines. So I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna go this way. There we go. There we go. So I'm taking my time as I color this in. I feel like your belt and your shoes should match, right? That's just me. So there's my little gnome, but I'm not done yet. This is not done, boys and girls. I'm going to color in the background. Now, if you don't have your color pencils because you're not home or whatever, you lost them. Your mom sent them off to another country. I don't know. This is what you can do. You can use your crayons or your markers, but I'm using the color pencils. I'm gonna finish this up. 
and then um, yeah, we're gonna finish this up. So I'm gonna do this uh, super fast. So here is our garden no and you'll see that I left you know what I was on the fence about coloring the sky in and I think I'm going to color the sky in. you can color it in blue you color it in any color you want pink pink might be nice actually um, I think that's what I'm gonna go with pink or oh this is a nice color I love this color magenta I'm gonna color it in magenta and you're probably like, why the hell are you in magenta? Well, depending on the time of day and um, what's going on outside, the sky changes colors. And the reason I'm coloring it in, I was going to leave it white originally, but that I have plenty of white. I have his white beard. I'm going to leave white on the flowers. I'm going to leave white on the mushrooms. Now, you could leave your sky white. That'd be cool you could color your sky in. You could color your sky in with one color or two colors. You could make a sunset. I am just gonna use magenta. I want a pink sky. I think it'll be nice. I'm still using the side of my pencil. Now I tried to color, I forgot a spot here. I tried to color things in relatively quickly I would prefer if my friends took their time and did a nice job. Make sure you send in your artwork. Now, you might wonder, do, does my gnome need to look exactly like Miss M's gnome? No. As a matter of fact, let's go over what Miss M's going to be grading you on. So when Miss M looks at your work, she thinks of things like, did the student use different types of wine to draw the gnome and create a background? Okay. Did the student create toadstools by drawing organic shapes? There's my toadstools. Those are the mushrooms. Did the student add a horizontal line and background to show space? So those are the three things I'm looking for. It doesn't say anything about what colors we're using. It doesn't say anything about like if you added any flowers, if you added um, clouds to the sky. I probably should have done clouds, but that's okay. Um, if you made a sunset, a sunrise, you could even make it nighttime. It doesn't matter. I'm looking for what lines did you use? Did you use organic shape for the, to the toadstools, the, the mushrooms, and a lot of other things too. Did you, leave, did you use any organic shapes on the flowers? Because those are organic. How about on your garden gnome? Did you use organic shapes on your garden gnome? When you are done and you are happy, see that's kind of cute, right? Something different instead of a blue sky. When you are done and you are happy with your garden gnome, you are going to send it into Seesaw. You have a choice. You can send it in as a photo. That would be great. Or you could send it in as a video and you could tell me, Miss M, I used organic shapes on my toadstools. My toadstools. I even used them on my gnome. I used a horizontal line to show space. Look how far away the toadstool is. You could also say, look, I use one, two, three, four different greens, and that makes it look like there's different patches of grass. It makes more space. You could talk about the different lines. I used a zigzag line for the grass. I used a straight line for the horizontal horizon line. Maybe I made some circles or dots. 
things to think about. Boys and girls, I can't wait to see your work. Oh, and don't forget, this is also very important. When you're done, remember to put your supplies away for next time. See what I'm putting my pencils in the box? I like to have all my pencils facing the same way. If you put your pencils in the box and they're there for next time, some of my friends have some nice pencil cases. I've been meaning to get one. You don't have to have one. You can just use the box the pencils came in. And close it up. This way next week, my pencils picture of my gnome and boys and girls hang your gnome up in your house. I mean, how cute is that little gnome, right? Can't wait to see your artwork.